In this instructional video, we're going to take a look at some of the principles and understanding for Ohm's Law. First of all, the things we have to take into consideration are the three variable factors that, are, that encompass the understanding of Ohm's Law. One would be voltage, two would be resistance, and three would be the actual amount of current flow. So voltage in the circuit is what we have for pushing in the circuit. In a sense, this is what we know as electrical pressure, the voltage or the amount of potential that is in a circuit to actually follow through with filling the other parameters of Ohm's law. Now, the next one we have to take a look at here is the amount of resistance that is in the circuit. The resistance is going to affect how well the voltage flows and how well the current flows in the circuit. So if we take a look at the resistance here in the circuit, It's the amount of restriction or resistance that slows down the voltage. And if we were to draw this circuit out like such, the resistance would be actually pushing down on this circuit, reducing the potential for current flow. And this is where our amps come into play. So it takes normally one volt of electrical pressure or potential to push one amp through one ohm of resistance. And in this particular case, we need to also identify all the parameters for the formula in question for applying Ohm's law. This triangle is a familiar triangle that is probably going to be used with a lot of your electrical instruction. Um, and it's derived from using the theory of Ohm's law. So how we take a look at this, E is the electromotive force or the potential in the circuit. So the amount of voltage or the push in the circuit. I indicates the intensity of current flow. So how much current is flowing and how intense it is in the circuit. And then R uh, depicts the resistance value based on the loads in the circuit. For an example, a conductor, a wire, a lamp or just simply a resistor in the circuit. It may be a resistance that is unintentional, or it may be a resistance that's built into the circuit to control the amount of voltage in the circuit. So if we define each one of these, if we take a look at how we lay this out in formula, E, which is the electromotive force, now remember also it can be V for voltage, or E for electromotive force. So E equals, so if we take a look at this, E equals I times R. And if we draw this in here, this is a better understanding and a good memory hook. So E equals I times R, amperage times the resistance in the circuit. And then I equals, or the intensity equals, E divided by R. So the electromotive force divided by the resistance, or the voltage divided by the resistance to get our calculated intensity of current flow. And then R, the very last one here, equals E divided by I. So now it would be the voltage or the electromotive force divided by the current flow or the intensity of current flow in the circuit. This explanation of Ohm's law and the formula and the triangle that we're using for remember, remembering the exact formula for calculating, we need to break this down for memory also. E would stand for the electromotive force electromotive force, or in this case, the term that we're using here is voltage, or the potential for voltage in the circuit. Now voltage is uh, depicted by the term V for volts. The next one is I, which signifies intensity of current flow. And that is the rate of electron flows in a circuit. And how that's measured in the circuit is 6.28 billion billion electrons passing by any given point in a circuit at any particular point of measurement. So that's how we develop the intensity or how many or how much current flow is actually flowing in the circuit. And the symbol that we use for that is I for intensity or current. And we 
we note that in A or amps. The next one we take a look at here is the resistance value. And R stands for the amount of resistance in the circuit. Now resistance, again, can be an unwanted or a wanted condition in the system. A lot of manufacturers build in resistance values to the circuit to control the amount of voltage in the circuit so that it's not too much. Now the problem comes in when we have unwanted resistance or high resistance circuits where it actually slows down the amount of voltage to an undesirable condition. So if we take a look at resistance here now, R stands for resistance in the circuit. And the symbol that we use for that for understanding is the term ohms. Okay, And there's a symbol that we use for ohms, where the formula in question for applying ohms.